<sighs> Total war, Tilla. Such a shame. A chance to recover from the mess that was Rome too, and to reignite the fire behind Total War. Yeah, I just made that pun with the fire and the world will burn. Oh, never mind. But, um, yeah, I am so mad at Crave Assembly and Sega. Oh, but it's Sega's fault. No, you're forgetting who has the power to stop this ridiculous DLC stuff. So, as you know here by the title of this video, I will be talking about the DLC today and how annoyed I am about it. You see... First of all, just to talk about Attila, I had really high expectations for this game. I um, I was hoping CA would listen to the complaints about Robodoo, and they did, except from the DLC. So, really, it's a shameful display. I agree with all the comments and criticism. Let's take a look at why this is wrong. First, I'd just like to point out that it's not so much the fact that it's DLC that annoys me, or the fact it's week one. It's more the fact of what's in the DLC. I mean, going back to Medieval here, which is my favourite Total War, the, the DLC they had in that was basically triple the content. It was four kingdoms packed, so four new campaigns, basically Imperia or Augustus, Anthes, Rome or whatever they're called, all crammed into one with tons of new factions and tons of new units. None of this ripped out the game on purpose stuff. I mean, even the name of this is stupid. Long beards? Come on. What are we going to have next? The short beards? The long moustaches? The bald heads? Yeah, and there's even a boar there on the video. So, it is actually, quite frankly, ridiculous. Um, oh, I'm, why couldn't... I know companies are out there to make money and all, but your customer satisfaction is important as well. Look at the, the likes of, say... Rome 2, going back to that again, they lost so much customers and attention after that because it was such a miserable failure, honestly. I mean, this was a chance to redeem themselves, as I said at the start. And I love the time period, I love the stuff they had. I was really annoyed when the Vikings weren't in it, but I was pre-order baits like Athens and Sparta, Sparta back in Rome 2. I, I, the Vikings not in it. It was mainly about the picks, and that's clearly been ripped out for DLC as well. I mean, come on, isn't it pretty obvious? Uh, the Caledonians too. And if you've ever played Attila and you've looked under the Eastern Empires tab, you'll see there's just the Sassanids. I am calling it now that there'll be at least two DLCs about the East because there's so many factions there, and there's only one playable that should be in the vanilla game. It's just dumb. The price will end up about triple for all the DLC, and it will be some gold edition, which, for example, an Emperor edition, I know I keep referring to Rome 2, did have, was better, and it did have some stuff, but they were still trying to milk you dry for DLC. At least back in Shogun's, what, a gold edition, they gave you most of the stuff. It's such a shame. I mean, DLC is so annoying it's with all games now basically cod i'm trying to think of other stuff like which i can off the top of my head because this is live um yeah companies are out there to make money as i said but still oh it's just unbelievable and the factions here it's just miserable germanic kingdoms are like no significance or importance in history most of them and it's sure it's got a few a few units but it feels like it's just there because it's there, they're trying to sap a few pounds or dollars or whatever, or euros out of everyone, just trying to get more money. It's out of greed, quite frankly, and this stuff really annoys me. It's got to the point where it's actually put, a lot of people have watched the reviews of Attila and thought, hmm, I'm going to buy that game, you know, it looks good, and then this has put them off, the deliberate ripping out of the game. I mean, we've been betrayed, quite frankly. <sighs> it's come on, and sure... You can blame Sega and say it's their fault, but look who has the authority to step in. It's CA. They can just say, no, we don't want this. We want to have a one big DLC and an important vanilla game. And what are the campaign packs going to be now? Let's see. Western Roman Empire fights off Caledonians. Attila was mainly about the picks for me, and that wasn't in it. And I, because it's been so in demand, it will be DLC. DLC should be free, or just in the vanilla game in the first place. Blood and Gore, I can understand the argument, even though I do think it's an excuse, that they have to change it to Peggy 18. But what about the rest? It's Creative Assembly. You've ignored the rest about, like, this. The Burgundinians, the Langobards, can't remember the last one. They, there's no reason for this. This is just greed. 
quite frankly. And I mean, people just trying to make as much money as possible instead of maybe raising the price by about five dollars or whatever your currency is to um, make a much better game. It's just really a shameful display, honestly. I feel so annoyed about this DLC and I really hope they can redeem themselves. So they withdrew it recently now because they've basically seen the criticism and have decided that they yeah, but they want to put more stuff in it. And they've also deliberately re-uploaded their last stuff. Qu um, quite frankly, the stuff, I mean their rally point. Because... Of the such the neg such of the negative bleh, what am I saying the um such high rates of negative criticism about it which is quite right frank quite frankly and I mean look at the dislike ratio of the video here when I'll probably end up linking it in the description note to self um and it's the dislikes are like three times probably more maybe more like five times the amount of the likes. Come on, you're getting a negative response from the community. You can't say you didn't know. There's no excuses here, Grave Assembly. The fans here are loyal. It's not the dumb excuse of, oh, I'd stop going away. P I wish people would stop whining, by the way, and saying, if you don't like the game, then you don't have to play it. But, um, quite frankly, I know that's true, but the reason we're complaining is because we love this franchise and we do not want it to die or get crippled by DLC. So... There is basically my angry rant for everyone on DLC because this really annoyed me. I might do a full review on Attila. I have mixed opinions. I can explain if you want me to later in time, but that's my thoughts on this DLC because I've been really upset by this and annoyed because it was bad enough the Vikings being used as pre-order bait and then, or Norsemen as they call them, but yeah, so... Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. I hope to see more of you on the channel. Comment down below what you thought. And share this video. Be sure, I could say, be sure to drop a like on this video. But no, I'd encourage you to go and drop a dislike on the video about this. Uh, that's the best way you can really show support if you don't know what to do um, against this DLC outrage, quite frankly. You can just go dislike their videos. Um, not spam. But just message Crave Assembly, complain to them and say how much you hate this. Do not hold back. It's the best we can do is keep pushing. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. I already asked you what I wanted you to do. You don't have to, obviously. But I hope you stick around. And bye. Peace out.